Hello, this is Haku Debin, and today I will be reading to you SCP-53, also known as The Young Girl. Item number SCP-53, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures SCP-53 is to be kept contained in an area no less than 5 meters by 5 meters and given adequate room to move. Toys, books, games, and other recreational devices are to be amply provided and rotated every three months. Proper bedding, bathroom, and medical facilities are to be maintained at all times. Food should be provided at three times daily, and two snacks are allowed if requested. No physical contact is to be made of SV-53 without full atmosphere, air containment suit, and eye shield. No eye contact is to be made with SV-53 for any reason. Any objects given to personnel by SV-53 may be removed, but must be given to quarantine for examination. Only one member of personnel may be, be present in the room at any given time and must be secured by a safety line of steel cable. All personnel must be removed from SV-53's containment chamber within 10 minutes of entering. Any personnel who begin to act irregularly, scream, or attempt to grab SCP-53 are to be removed and quarantined. Any personnel attempting to remove their, their suit are also to remo be removed and quarantined. No sharp objects or fire alarms are allowed in SCP-53's containment room. Description: SCP-53 appears to be a small three-year-old girl. She is capable of basic speech and appears to be slightly above average in mental development. She has a generally pleasant personality and rarely seems upset, becoming agitated only in, a pre in the presence of groups of people. Any all humans over the age of three who make co eye contact with its physically touch or remain around SC-53 for longer than 10 minutes gradually become irrational, paranoid, and homicidal. Most, if not all, of those feelings will be directed at SCP-53, and afflicted subjects will attempt to kill SCP-53 after first killing or driving off all humans visible to them. Those who to kill SCP-53 will, will suffer ha massive heart attacks or seizures and die seconds after doing any physical damage to SCP-53. SCP-53 will regenerate almost instantaneously from any wound, regardless of severity. SCP-53 appears wholly ignorant of these effects and ignores any and all subjects affected. The question about the effect, SCP-53 is incapable of response. I believe this one is, is an old one, so there is a chance that SCP-53 is a lot older than 3 years old by now. Oh. Eleven twenty nine. That's where Play bring us. That was a short one. And there are a lot of things that it did not even mention. Like that SCP-53 and SCP-682 are very close friends. I think SCP-53 actually named 682 Lizzie or something along those lines. Hmm. <sighs> I suppose that's surprisingly it for today's video. I'll see you tomorrow with the water nymph. Hopefully that's a little bit longer. <laughs>